Hello, my name is Shalendra Chaudhary and in this video, I'll explain the integration and the security of Azure Key Vault service using Azure Policy. So let's first talk about the Azure Policy. Azure Policy is a governance tool which helps in ensuring that Azure resources follow the standards defined for your organization. Azure Policy has a lot of predefined definitions. However, you can create your own definition in the JSON format. These definitions provide the control and governance on your Azure resources. As you can see on your screen, these are some of the most famous Azure policy definitions. Azure policy can control in which region your resources should be deployed, whether the resources should have the required tagging. For example, you want all the resources should have the cost center tag. Most of the organizations define the cost center for different applications. So it's easy for an organization to determine which team this resource belongs to. For specific resources, you can set up a predefined settings and ensure that the resources are not created with any different setting. And finally, only specific resource type or the resource size are allowed to be created. For example, M series virtual machines, which are very costly, aren't allowed in your environment to be created. There are two types of Azure policy definition. One is auditing, which only checks and marks the resources and non-compliant in the Azure policy. And the another one is deny, which will not let you even create the resource itself. You can even use deploy if not exist type of definition in which resources or the settings will be created if you haven't provided in your configuration. For example, any of the resource created should automatically add the user ID of the user as the tag in that particular resource as owner. This way it's easy to find the user who created the resource. But in this video, I'm focusing on the integration of the Azure Key Vault service with Azure policy. So here are the few of the Azure policy definition for the Key Vault service. Like the diagnostic settings of an Azure Key Vault should be sent to log analytics. Otherwise, it will be marked as non-compliant. The Key Vault should have disabled the public network access. It should check whether the purge protection is enabled or your Key Vault is using the private endpoints or not. Like this, we'll check few of these definition in this video through demo. So let's start the demo. I'll start with creating a new key vault. I'll select the resource group as the key vault RG. The name should be unique. So demo key vault. And I'll add some suffix. Region is Australia East. I'll not change the pricing tier and everything to be same. No change in the access policy. I'll be given the access. Networking all network and rest everything. No tags. I'll just create it now. It took only a few seconds to create the key vault service. Let's go to key vault. There are no keys, secrets, or the certificates defined right now. Let's create a secret. Name it as test secret. Well, you can be anything. And I'm not defining any content type, nor the expiration. Let's create. The secret is created. Let's go to Azure policy now. If we'll go to the definitions in Azure policy and select the key vault category. Now you can see all the predefined definitions for Azure key vault service. I'll assign the definition where the secret should have expiration date. Let's go to this definition and assign. In the scope, I'll define the whole subscription. You can even drill down to the resource group. But I'll choose the subscription here.
next we'll show the parameters there are three different options audit deny disable disable will disable the policy audit will only check whether it's compliant or non-compliant and deny will not even let us create the resource so let's select audit there are a few policies which work as deploy if not exist where it will create the resource if it's not present so in that case a manage identity is required but here we are simply checking and auditing whether the secret in the key vault is compliant or not preview and create create as you can see here the policy assignment takes around 30 minutes so this is the reason I have pre-created the key vault service as well as some policy definitions which I'll show you. We'll go to the compliance. First one is by default. And these are the four policy definitions which I have created to show how it works. So if we'll go to the secret should have content type set. It's showing that pre-created key vault. Let's check this in new tab. This is the key vault which I have previously created. For this key vault, you can see the secrets should have expiration date, secret should have content type and the Azure key vault should have public network access. However, this is compliant. So what I've done is I have in the networking section, I have disabled the public network access and I haven't added any virtual network. So this is the reason it's showing as compliant. The problem here is I can't even check the keys as well as the secrets which I have created. So for now, I'll enable the public access. When I'll go to keys, I can see the keys as well as the secrets. And the secrets here are created without the content type, without the expiration date. This is the reason they are showing as non-compliant. Secret should have content type and key vault secret should have expiration date. There is another definition which I have created for the keys, which has deny effect. If we'll go to the edit assignments and check the parameters. So I've selected it. The allowed types are easy. However, there are four. We are not talking about the HSM. So there are two options here, RSA or EC. We can select both. But in this case, the allow type is EC and effect is deny. So that means if I try to create a key with RSA type, that will not be allowed. So let's try that. What are the keys? Generate a new key. Let's give it as key one and select RSA and I'll click create it has thrown an error and it clearly shows that it's denies because the policy set is set up by the organization this is how you govern all your resources and make sure they are compliant and the new definition which I have created is still not started we can refresh and check but it usually takes 30 minutes and you can see that now the public network access is also become non-compliant. You have to be very careful before applying the Azure policies because sometimes they can deny creating of the new resources or even interrupt the running resource. I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.